Hello everybody, this is Kwan Anaconda. Today, we are diving into a topic that often confuses English learners. Mm -mm. The difference between British and American English. That's right. Well, as far as I know, it's not just about the accent. Uh, no, there's so much more. So, grab a cup of tea, or should I say coffee? Let's get started. First things first, well, let's talk about vocabulary, words. You see, British and American English might seem the same, but they often use completely, completely different words for the same things. For example, in Britain, they say biscuit. But in America, they say cookie. Are you saying Americans don't have biscuits? Oh, they do. They do have it. But they have them something else entirely. It's actually quite amazing indeed. And then there's the classic chips versus fries debate. Yummy, yummy. All you need to do is just visit a British pub and order some fish and chips if you have money. Are you trying to say you'd get a plate of fish with crisps? No, 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 no. Here, chips are what Americans call fries. And British crisps are their chips. Confused yet? <laughs> Me too. But wait, mates, there's more. All I can do is laugh at the pronunciation differences. Laugh with me. <laughs> uh, take the word schedule or schedule, for example. In Britain, they say schedule with a soft sh, sh sound, sh sound. But in America, they say schedule. It's like we are speaking the same language, but not really. And speaking of pronunciation, let's not forget the letter Z. In Britain, it's pronounced Z. But across the pond, it's Z. So if you are singing the alphabet song, it might sound a bit different depending on where you are. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, 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 Y, and Z, and Y, and Z. Now let's move on to spelling. It's spelling class for you. In Britain, Brits tend to keep things fancy with extra letters. For instance, Brits write colour with a U, while in America it's just C-O-L-O-R. Are you saying Americans don't like extra letters? Maybe, or maybe not. I'm not American, just ask them. And don't even get me started on favourite and favour. I think Brits just like to add a bit more flair. So how do you choose which version of English to use? It depends on where you are planning to use it. All you need to do is decide which country you are visiting or which one you have more connections with. And don't worry too much about it. English speakers from both sides of the Atlantic understand each other just fine, even if they like to tease each other a bit about the differences. They tease and tease and tease and tease again. Well, here's a fun idea. Why not try using a bit of both? Rubbish is a British word. In America, they call rubbish a trash. But what is a trash can? Trash can is sreggiton. You know, sreggiton. In the US, they say trash can, but in the UK, they call it a rubbish bin or just bin. Start by saying, I'm going to put my rubbish in the trash can. It sounds quirky, doesn't it? That way, you can surprise both Brits and Americans. So, to sum it all up, British and American English might have their differences, but they're like two sides of the same coin. Whether you are a biscuit lover or a cookie fan, whether you prefer colour, C-O-L-O-U-R, or just C-O-L-O-R, the most important thing is to enjoy learning 
and have a bit of fun with it. So how was it today? Did you enjoy the video? It was totally 100% in English, except serrated, right? Do you know any difference between American and British English? Just tell me then. Leave your comments. Everybody, I'll see you next time. Cheers.